when you're converting a bird onto pellet, sometimes they don't recognise them as food, so you need to teach them that it's an actual food source. Uh, the great thing when we are weaning young birds, so if we're hand rearing them, often one of the first things they pick up is the larger food. So we've found that the large NutriBlend pellets are really good for weaning, um, as the young juvenile birds will pick those up and start chewing on them before any other solid food, basically. So they are fantastic. Um, when we're getting wild birds in and they may be older, we don't know how old they are. They could be, you know, 50 plus years old, some of the birds that come in here. We have to teach them that the pellets are a food. So we can do that in a number of ways. So we often um, create balls of uh, pellets. So we blend up the pellet powder. We might add a little bit of sunflower powder as well, depending on if they've started eating sunflower or not yet. Um, so we make it taste a little bit fattier for them because they like that. And then once they're picking up those and eating them, uh, we can hide a few sunflowers in there too. So they, they go and forage around on them and find it. Um, and then once they've started eating those, we then phase out the sunflower powder and then we start replacing the, um, the uh, sunflower hidden in those balls with whole pellets. We also use uh, Mari gum nuts that have been emptied um, and stuff the NutriBlend large pellets inside them. Um, and they open up the gum nut thinking that there's uh, you know, Mari seeds in there and they actually get a pellet in there so they start chewing on it and then once we've observed them eating it then they go from there. Another thing that has helped as well is um, if they've been on a sunflower diet previously we blend up sunflower powder and we cover the pellets with that so we might dampen the pellets a tiny bit so the sunflower powder sticks and then make it a bit tastier that way. Um, we've also used the pellet ball formula so that the dough basically and mushed it into the top of Mari seeds so that they start to get a taste for it. So that seems to work really really well.